Hello everyone, it's Francis with your Book of Memories. I've got a Christmas project share. Let's look through it together. Thank you everyone so much for joining me for this. I do have for you my Simple Mini Album version 5. I will leave the tutorial link down in the description box for you. So this is just the design. You can of course swap out any papers that you'd wish. This time I used Christmas theme paper from Stamperia. So Christmas vintage. Really, really cute paper. It was a little hard to work with, but I tried my best. As you know, I've added just a lot going on on this page. And this is actually a pocket directly on the front. Now, if you want to learn to make any of these scrapbooks, I will be playing a tutorial trailer of this particular design after the walkthrough of this book. So we've got little cute camera stamps right there, a nice little doodled camera on the back where you can hold your photos right in the front of this book. So, wow, I'm just super excited to share this with you. I had a blast making this. I did cut out and hand draw each one of these little letters and I just fussy cut them out and stuck them right there with some twine. So for those of you who are new to making scrapbooks or even coming across these scrapbooks for the first time, you will absolutely surprise yourself. These are projects that you can make. It just takes some steps and you will be on your way. Really quickly, I did smudge some of this like metallic gold on over the top of this wood veneer. Beautiful deer. I had some wood veneer, little Christmas trees, snowflake. I fussy cut these out. I just hand drew those little leaves right there. And this I thought was so cute on the front and it really actually looks good with just a black background as well. So if you had like, I don't know, you wanted to put something else in there, you could absolutely do that. <laughs> so there's a very special person that helped me create this. So for the first time ever, this is my hybrid book, which is half created by me and half created by one of my wonderful friends, Litzy. So thank you so much, Litzy. She is actually my assistant now. She helps create some bases for me. She's learning and I want to tell you something very quickly. She created the base design for this particular book. You can see the complexity of this as we go through it, but I want you to understand right now, she's going to be turning 18 this month. So she's young, she's never made a card before, she's never even seen a bone folder or a paper trimmer in her entire life. And she followed my tutorial and she was able to create this. Okay, so I want you to keep that in mind as we go through it. So Lindsay, thank you again so much for letting me share your book with everyone. I'm so grateful that you are just part of my crafty journey, okay? So you're probably wanting to get into the book already, so let's check this out. So first impression, you probably notice it's kind of a smash style book. There's kind of a lot going on in different layers and different thicknesses and different elements. So right here on the front and side cover, we have two different types of angle pockets. Of course, I couldn't help but add the acetate on the front of that, so that looks brilliant right there. We have these two little inserts that come out. I did use my Stampin' Up! Tab Punch for that. Thank you so much, Amy. And you can do some journaling or add another photo on the back of there. She did a fantastic, you could see her precision. Okay, so she did the base and I did the decorating. So I did the design paper and she did all the black matting. She attached her pages. She cut her pockets out. I mean, look at this dynamic that she was able to achieve this, okay? Now, beautiful. Now, if you want to see how my teaching style works, I teach these scrapbooks online professionally. I have several classes, about maybe 46 to 47 of them. I will be playing a tutorial trailer after this walkthrough if you were curious of what my teaching style is. I've got about 2,000 students now and a Facebook group of almost 500 of them sharing all their creations together. And I want you to see this page layout. If you're curious of where I purchased these tags, it's actually from the Dollar Tree. Crafter Square, as well as the chalk marker. And this little tag right here, I just changed its shape just slightly. <laughs> How adorable is that? We've got like a little fussy cut house right here and more photo space right here. Beautiful wood veneers. And then this is the pocket design right here. I just, I'm in love. She did amazing. Now I want you to see the precision. First time ever. These both meet right at the ends. This is something you can do. This is someone that has never ever played with paper before. Now, if you think, I mean, come on, this is, this is amazing. Plus she's extremely talented, so. <laughs> she's just like really good at everything. Oh, she's a very quick learner, so it doesn't surprise me that she would be able to do this, but it also doesn't surprise me if you would also be able to do this. And I want, I want to show you that this is possible. 
for any of you. Right here we just have a flap. I did go kind of nuts with my chalk marker there. I hand wrote memories, fussy cut it out, little banner. Got my little camera stamp right there and this flips over. Jolly, fantastic, another wood veneer right here. This flips over and I fussy cut around this. Beautiful, holly, just love that. Beautiful black background inside there. It's totally up to you whether you wanna put some design paper back there or not. Look how well she did this frame. It fits beautifully on here. It's so precise, so perfectly cut. Unbelievable talent, okay? Wow, look at that. That flips over and bingo. <laughs> we got a little fussy cut banners right there that I did. Of course, all these, you can tuck a photo behind. I placed them on there in a specific manner. We've got some more wood veneer little Christmas trees, which I did do a couple doodles on. Again, hand wrote that. Beautiful five by seven photo can go in here. You can hold about maybe 40 to 45 photos. We have a beautiful element right here on the back. I'm super excited to show you. Here's a popped up fussy cut Christmas tree out of the cut aparts page. Got some more of that chalk marker going. And you know what? Wow, look the way she cut this. Let's, I mean, I'm just impressed. I mean, check this out. I'm blown away. First album ever. And this is kind of a moderately difficult one if you would think so, right? When you look at it, but she was, she did it. She did it 100% all the way through. Look at that, a couple little chalk marker elements right there. And we've got this giant plastic pouch in the back that holds a ton of fun stuff. I'm super excited, look at this. And look at that, and there's tons more that you can fit in here. Stacks and stacks you can fit in here, okay? I decided to only mat one side because I really like that chalk marker design. Here's a couple more photo mat spaces, journaling spaces. Look at that fantastic print on the back. Look at the cute girl. With love for a happy Christmas. Beautiful, you can journal on the back of that as well. And I made this giant insert, okay, where you layered up some things on there. Beautiful, okay, huge photo can go behind there. And that just tucks right back in. And I made this little swivelly thing with all the cards. Not entirely sure. Uh, you could just journal on them. I don't know, it's just kind of fun that you just kind of swivel it around and have a good time with that, <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, I'm just honored that she has chosen to be my assistant. And she's just so talented. I mean, look at that. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm speechless, okay? I love it. Simple Mini V5, and look what you can do. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Thank you again, Litzy. It's been a pleasure to be your teacher and you're a fantastic student. Hope to see you in the tutorial and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Hello my friend, and thank you again so much for joining me. Welcome to the Simple Mini Album version five tutorial. I have a little scoring tool right here, as well as a bone folder. Absolutely best friend with this one, okay? I have here with me Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby, eight and a half by 11 heavyweight cardstock. This wood grain pattern with all these little, oh my goodness, little leaves and different things, beautiful feathers. Some more wood grain patterns and florals. We have a bendy side and a stiff side to each chipboard piece, okay? So let's go ahead and flatten out the corner here. And I'm kind of using this area of the bone folder to kind of bring this in. Now we have a D flap, which is one piece four and a half by six and a half. Do we have any scraps? Doesn't look like it. The first one, let's line up with a five and one quarter inch side along the top. Now let's score half an inch. You can feel it right here. I like to fold on to that side so it gives you that nice traditional card maker's fold. Let's get our bone folders out for this step. So let's go 1 3 8 strip. Beautiful. That's finished. Now this is where we make confetti. This is <laughs> confetti is an important part of crafting. Birthday parties, etc. I mean, you name it. It's here. It's with us right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Once you make that, okay? How awesome are you? Yeah, that's how awesome you are. I'm telling you right now, you just did that. I'm gonna go three and three quarters this way. Closure on the right side, in toward the score marks. Focus, bottom left. Just fabulous. It's one piece, four and one eighth by six and a quarter. Let's go ahead and cut that out because sometimes we can mark our papers up. Totally however you want it to be, okay? I am going to go up 